Stuffed Acorn Squash with Effin Sharp. Using the Effin Sharp boning knife, we're going to lay our acorn squash on the side and cut down once horizontally. Using a spoon, scoop out the seeds and a little bit of that stringy flesh. With the cut sides facing up, season liberally with salt and pepper. Using a neutral oil like vegetable or canola, go ahead and drizzle some on the cut side of the acorn squash. Lay in a sheet pan. I have this one lined with some parchment paper. You're going to do cut side down in an oven at 420 degrees. You're going to check at about 20 minutes. Here I'm prepping one bell pepper. This will take about half to three quarters of it. I'm just going to take off the cheeks, julienne the pepper, turn it to its side, and then give it a dice. Using broccoli rabe, I cut off the stems. I'm just mainly going to use the florets on it into a pan that I already have some chorizo that is being browned in with the broccoli florets or the broccoli rabe and the diced bell peppers just to give it a quick start on the cooking process. It'll finish in the oven once it's stuffed into the acorn squash. After that sauteed, I'm just going to cube up some truffled goat cheese. This is absolutely delicious and a nice contrast in flavor. And then I have some mozzarella as well that I'm just going to slice up here with the effing sharp boning knife. After about 20-25 minutes in the oven with the acorn squash to get it going, I'm just cutting off a bit on the top here and that's going to give it a nice base so that your acorn squash can stand up on its own and then we're going to stuff it with the chorizo the broccoli rabe and the bell peppers after a small layer of filling i'm then going to stud with the truffle goat cheese and mozzarella i'm going to add some more stuffing on top of that and then i'll finish with some cheese on top so that gets all melty and good as you can see with another 10, 15 minutes in the oven, the acorn squash is stuffed and ready to enjoy.